Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, so, we've got Karen and Nicola here. Um, this is the first time that we've done a Q workshop online, I think. Possibly, would it be? Yep. Karen and Nick. And how often do you guys do the workshops around the country? Um, the, well, the kind of the theory is that they get done as often as they need to get done. Um, in practice, that possibly doesn't always happen. Um, we haven't been terribly systematic. We've kind of just gone, if there are five people who want us to come, we'll come. Um, and kind of gone from there. But <coughs> we probably do need to look at being a bit more systematic, I think. Mm, we're good to do them before each Q workshop. Like, yeah. uh, we're good to do them between Q workshops. So, uh, sorry, before Q submission. So before the next one comes up. But certainly, if we can do them online, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, the New Zealand Institute of Professional Photography has um, is it four submission dates each year? Yeah. Or yeah. Um, so to maintain. A professional standard and have a qualification. This is part of the process um, of you can gain your cues. Um, we're going to be talking about wedding and portrait cues today, but there's also commercial and um, we most of the people here. We're all in Otago and Southland. Uh, Nicola and Karen are in Hamilton at the moment, and yeah. so um, instead of us all travelling on possibly wintry roads at this time of year, and all everyone travelling around the country, um, this we're going to just do this online today. So print quality, which you'll hear from Karen and Nicola really soon, is a really big part of um, wedding and portrait. Q submissions and that will obviously not really come into it as much as it normally would today. Um, but we'll still be able to have a look at some images. So Nick and Karen, why don't you just give us an introduction to yourselves and maybe the, the workshop process and the Q process? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm Nicola Ingalls. I'm the, currently the wedding director, but not for much longer. At the next AGM, um, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll be resigning and somebody else will be taking over, but the information's still good. So, um, Karen. Uh, um, I'm Karen Flett, and I'm currently the acting portrait director. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens at the AGM, and it'll either be me or somebody else. So, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so, so, how long do you stay that the wedding and portrait directors for? Um, as long as you can stand it, or until somebody <laughs> else volunteers and gets voted in. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> it's. Um, I guess I've been in the job three and a half years. It's not. Um, I mean, it's a great job, but it's it takes its toll on your business and your family, yeah. and it's probably not. A good idea for people to do it for longer than about three or four years. I, mm. that, that would be my opinion. Yeah. And so, have you two? You've had quite a chance to work together doing the workshops for a couple of years, or how long have you been doing them? Uh, we've done them together probably since I came on as acting portrait director. So, but even before that, yeah, like we had one at your studio. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. That's quite useful to have a bit of overlap. We usually yeah. travel and here. <laughs> <laughs> when you find one, you find the other. <laughs> <coughs> um, so um, Nick and Karen have very nicely volunteered their time today for us. And the deal is, though, that we're all going to buy them lots of drinks at conference. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put a disclaimer on that, that I've got a really, really low tolerance to alcohol, so don't everybody buy me a drink, because uh, that would just be <laughs> catastrophic. That would be fun. Especially when I think I'm Beyonce when I hear music, so yeah, that would be, be a great show. Now how she never broke her wrist. Yeah. 
I've already been trying to find out who the band is going to be for the oh. gala dinner so that we know. <laughs> I, I can maybe even tell you. So somebody oh, div oh, yeah. Div divine, divine Trio something? Is that someone from the Jubilee? Oh, okay, hang on. Hang yeah. on. I was reading my minutes this morning from the last board meeting. <laughs> oh, anyway, that doesn't need to go recorded, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Back on track. Um, no, it's pretty important to the overall um, conference experience. <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. <laughs> Um, we needed to go later than 12 this time. I know. Yep, that's in the minutes too that I asked if they might play yeah. till one. I'm pretty sure in Auckland though we'll at least be able to find somewhere that goes a bit late and we won't end up in a camper van in the car park till four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> as epic as that was. Yeah. In case you missed it, I played the spoons. So, you know, it all happens at conference. Yeah. In the car we park. Had a, we had a pop-up bar in a camper van in a car park at, in Christchurch. <laughs> and there was no mixers left, so it was straight whiskey. <laughs> there was cartwheels going on. <laughs> And lots of rank and handing. Handing <laughs> <laughs> got found its beginnings. Uh, that was crazy. All right. So, um, why don't does anyone have any questions about the queue process? First of all, uh, Holly, can we, yes, I do. Can we just go over the um, the an overview of, of how it works um, sure. in general, just to start it off, like a summary. Good idea. Good idea. Um, okay, so the, the idea of the queue process is to have some kind of like a narrow gateway that, that people need to pass through in order to kind of achieve full membership of NZIPP. So while we're very kind of welcoming and that, you know, it's we welcome lots of people to join, there does at some point need to be an endorsement, a process where NZIPP has the option to endorse you as a member or not. So when you're a provisional member, you don't advertise that you are. And at some point, if you want to be able to advertise that you're an NZIPP member, that you're qualified, then there has to be a process through which ends up checks that they actually want to endorse you that way. Um, so it's not... Um, it's not easy to to pass. It's, it's kind of an effort, I guess. Is uh, most people find that it is. And the level that the work, the level of work that we're looking for is the kind of. If you've watched Iris judging, it's the kind of work that would score between sixty five and sixty nine ish. Mm -hmm. So we're not necessarily looking for award winning, but it's good, solid professional standards. So it's. Um, the kind of work that you do do for clients every day, which doesn't necessarily score well at Iris, so, but it should be the best of the work that you do for clients. Having said that, there's also the other way of looking at it is you ought to be able to take something from your last 12 <coughs> sessions and take the best one from each of your last 12 sessions and, and enter it. And it, in theory, it, that should be Q level and that should be what, you know, what qualifies to have NZIP's logo put on it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it you, Sarah? So the idea is that you join as a provisional member and you now actually have to join. You can't join and submit all in one go. So you join as a member first. You're a provisional member. You go to meetings. That gives you access to lots of qualified members who can talk to you about the kinds of things that work in a submission. Having said that, that actually being on a Q panel is not something that a huge number of members have had experience with. So I caution you to be careful who you talk to and how much weighting you give to the advice they give you. So if you've had somebody who gained their Q 10 years ago, look through your portfolio and say, yes, I think this is Q standard. It would pay for you to weight that according to how much experience they've actually had of where the Q standard is now. Um, yeah. So the submission for portraits is 12 
Yep, 12 images, of which 10 should pass. So you've got a wee bit of leeway, so if you, you know, you maybe put something in that you thought was a great idea but the panel disagrees with you, or you, the, there is perhaps a little bit of room to submit something that you think might be a bit risky, but overall at least 10 of the images are expected to pass. Um, with weddings, you need to submit two albums, one printed album and one digital album. So the digital album is like if you're using Photo Junction and you're exporting, you export your high-res layouts, flatten them into JPEGs and that's what we want. Um, <clears throat> the printed album, um, people often ask, does it need to be a Queensbury album? Um, no, of course not, because they don't sponsor us. Um, yeah, they do actually. But so we, you know, I mean, we're not in love with Queensbury. It doesn't have to be a Queensbury. It needs to be a professional quality album. So, occasionally we've had examples where people have submitted things that just really didn't have the professional finish, or they didn't, they didn't come across as the products that you might expect from a professional photographer, and and they've kind of missed out for that reason. That's a very rare reason to miss out much more common are things like print quality. So depending on where you're getting them, it doesn't matter where you get them printed, you'll be judged on the print quality and the colour management. So if you're getting them done through um, milk box, sometimes we have issues with print quality. Um, blurb sometimes have print quality issues. So uh, yeah, the, I guess it's up to you to decide whether you consider it to be professional standard and know that the panel are going to judge that as well as as being professional or not. Um, so for commercial, just kind of quickly touching on commercial, again mm -hmm. it's 12 images. With commercial you're encouraged to submit digitally because they recognise that that's the way you would most commonly submit commercial work to a client. Um, and with commercial uh, a little bit more variety is perhaps encouraged in that not that you need to do a little bit of everything to get a commercial queue, but there is a certain expectation that whatever it is you specialise in, and actually this is across all three, whatever it is you specialise in, you either be r really ass-kickingly good at your thing that you <coughs> specialised in, or you show a good variety and kind of general skill across the board. So we always kind of, that's another question that comes up a lot is, you know, I shoot babies and really young kids. Do I have to go and shoot some old people just to submit for my cues? And the answer is no, because if Sue Bryce submitted for her cues, um, do you think we should pass her? So basically it's whatever it is that is your specialty, be really amazing at it. But if you're a generalist, then, then fine, show that. Um, Having said that, if you do portraits, it is really it's a really smart move to include some that have got a whole family group, some that are close up portraits of the kids, that kind of stuff. It's not a good move to submit six head and shoulders horizontal <coughs> portraits of children with beautiful eyes. Or the same person. It's also not a good move to submit lots of pictures of the same person. Yeah. There's no official guideline on that. People often ask if there is. There isn't, but again, it's about it's an opportunity for you to show the panel that you're producing high quality work in a variety of sessions in all your sessions. And a good way to convince us of that is to show us that you've shot lots of different sessions. Could I ask a question? Yeah. Um, with the portrait, if someone submitted, just say they did uh, out of the twelve, they did a family group that was. Though it was a very, very strong image, and then they did maybe one of the children as another one because you'd recognise them. That's probably not the best thing to do because it's showing you've done it in the same situation. That would be okay if, I, I, if you just were one of the children, but if they had five yeah. kids, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't have an issue with one person being repeated twice, but if you've got sort of three or four images of the same person just in a different sort of setup. Then, yeah, it doesn't sort of yeah. doesn't sort of lead to the fact that you've shot a lot of sessions and you've been able to get twelve solid images from twelve sessions. Yeah, got you there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
I think that's a good indicator too of being ready. If you're looking through your sessions and you can't find one good image from your last few sessions, mm -hmm. then maybe you need to shoot a, a little bit more to be make sure that you're really ready because one one cue worthy image from each session should be what you should you know definitely be able to do when you're submitting for your cues. If you can't, you're not ready. Mm. Cool. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> questions are good. Yeah, questions good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess are there other questions? Because rather than me kind of saying people often ask, it's better if you guys. Yep, I've got a couple. Um, in terms of for the wedding uh, SKU submission and the printed album, how much does, because obviously album design is a whole other um, area, so is there is there a kind of, I guess, what, what are you trying to go with the album design because there's just so many different options and ways that you can display those images? Yeah. Um, we tend to prefer, the thing is we sit there usually at the panel there'll be at least one album that makes us have this discussion and so we sit there and we say oh you know I find, I'm really finding that design distracting. Yeah but we're not judging design so we kind of go back and forth on it and so and the theory is that we're not judging the design so if somebody has taken an image and made it opaque and then put some other images on top we're actually trying to ignore that design and look at this image and this one and this one and this one. So having said that, the, the simpler it is, the more it showcases the images and the less it distracts with its own cleverness, the better it is in terms of being able to assess the images themselves. Um, yeah, I guess the other thing that I kind of talk to people about, because um, one of the things that comes up is not everybody who's submitting an album is necessarily producing albums for their clients at this point right. and so one of the things that we sometimes talk about in the Q workshops is the whole kind of the the theory behind how you put images together and um, I've got an album to show you and, and one of the comments was why is this image really big you know you've got the, when you have putting the album together you've got an opportunity to really showcase and direct our attention to this really strong images and then use the others to kind of be the supporting story. Mm -hmm. And and if you haven't taken that opportunity, then that sometimes leads to questions like, you're not sure why this image is really big because the focus is slightly off. You know, you might have got away with it if you kept it small. Um, right. Like that. So the, there are sort of decisions to be made, but I would say keep it simple and really play up the strong images and use the rest to kind of support. Yep. Great. Thank you. Yeah. What else? <laughs> what else? Oh, I've got another one, if you okay. need one. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there any one, um, obviously you can't do it to the panel, but I don't know, in terms of um, within our peers, you said be really careful about who you um, talk to with the Q submission because they might not really know what's going on right now, which is a really valid point. But uh, any suggestions of how or who um, to sort of vet your album before you, for the wedding or your portraits, whatever your Q submission is, before you put it in to get the okay. best feedback? I think anyone who's judged at Iris particularly if they like judged at Iris recently, um, is a good person to talk to. Okay. And um, I mean, it's good to talk to lots of different people and at the end of it, kind of take from it what you will and make your own decision. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they can say, I think this image is stronger than this. It's probably a good idea to go to them with specific questions like, how's this layout? Would you do it this way or would you do it a different way? Um, things like that. Um, which is the weakest image out of these five? Uh, things like, like, yeah, really yeah. specific questions, I think, as well. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing say, how much you get um, by getting someone else to critique your work and even just going through this process. Just you get really close to your work, mm -hmm. especially when it's, well, all, mm -hmm. all of the 
categories and sometimes you don't see things that other people point out to you and then it's really obvious that you could improve on. Mm -hmm. I think the um, we're really lacking good critiques in at the moment um, and that's one of the reasons that the NZIP's really good. Um, we can all put photos up on Facebook and get a hundred likes by our family and friends who tell us how super the photos are. But um, yeah. to actually get a really good critique that with with people who really know photography and um, you can just get so much out of it. And, yeah, it's quite lacking, I think, for a lot of photographers. So mm. you, you, have to be, you have to be oh, careful sorry. too with... Yeah, with the Q tryhards in on Facebook, yeah, um, because you, you don't really know. A, like a lot of those people don't have their cues. They're not sure of what the criteria is. They're all in the same pool trying to achieve the same thing. So you have to be really careful uh, about the advice that you get in there. Sure. Yeah. Hi, Q tryhards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great, it's a great resource, and it's a, it's good for getting feedback. Yeah. But it's not always accurate, so you yeah. have to be, you have to be really careful. And it's the same sort of thing. Like if Nicola and I said we like something in there, mm. it doesn't yeah. guarantee yeah. that it's a pass because we're only one person on, on a panel. Yeah. So, yeah. And it might look good on the screen, but yeah. it's not necessarily going to print well. And th yeah. there's lots of other stuff in there too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A thing I've noticed with feedback in some of those groups as well is that if someone has seen something judged and seen a comment about a rule that's perhaps yeah. broken, then, yeah. yeah, you just hear people repeating things yeah. and applying them to a new image and saying, no, that won't pass because yeah. you've cropped it too close or something like that. But it, Yeah, some, sometimes they take it literally, but, I mean, there are yeah. rules that... But if you break those rules really well, then it, yeah. it, it can work. It's it's not always hard and fast for every single image. So, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I see that too, the same comments coming up all the time. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, that's been – you'll get pulled up for that. But it's not always the case. You've no. got to do what you do really well. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes the emotion or the feeling in the image is what strikes you first and then – if you've perhaps broken a rule or used it differently, it isn't such a big part of the image. Yeah. 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 And I think, too, some times people are being a little bit weary of being a bit more straight up online about an image because it can be – what people say online can be misconstrued so easily. Yes. It's easy when, you, it's easy when you're talking to someone face-to-face -to, -face to say, I really like it, but maybe if you've done that. But sometimes yeah. if you say it online – it can be taken the wrong way, so it can be a bit, people can be sort of slightly more positive and not want to sort of be a bit more direct in, in what they really might think. Mm. Yeah. Guys, I've got one last question and then I'll let someone else ask something. Um, is there a time limit between when, because I just became a provisional member um, last, almost a year ago, not quite, so is there a time limit within you have to actually um, submit for your cues? Um, you are encouraged to submit within the first, or kind of there is an expectation, but there's no stick involved. So if you don't do it, then no one's going to come and, I don't know, tell you off. Um, so, but after like your next round of subs, you'll be charged full price whether or not you've got your cues. Right. So quite, there is a little bit of a stick in that you, you're then paying the full price but not getting the full benefit until you've got right. your cues. So, it's, um, yeah, just so you're only a provisional member for one year and then the following year you're paying for qualified membership whether you've done your cues yeah, or not. Yeah, you're, you're still provisional but you've got to pay the full rate. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know, if you're not, when you're a provisional member before you are qualified, you can't use the NZIP logo or <coughs> add that you're a qualified New Zealand Institute of Professional Photographer member. So you need to get your qualifications to do that. So there's, yeah. 
and there's and kind of the, there's gray areas around um not kind of discussing on your blog that you've been to me yeah it's basically don't give the impression that you're connected with the nzipp in any way so <laughs> you've got uq basically yeah mm -hmm. yeah cool could i ask a question yeah um, when it comes along the same lines about when you're getting advice about vetting, um, getting your albums looked at or critiqued, um, are there some photographers that we could go to um, that you could maybe recommend for critique? Um, because when I failed my queue, I'd I'd sent what I thought would be to some photographers that would be able to give me the right advice. And I look back on those albums now, and I can see why I did definitely did fail. <laughs> um, <laughs> So that's why I'd like to I'd like to next time when I submit be recommended rather than going to ones who have already got their queue like you said, but ones mm -hmm. that definitely you know that they could give me good good advice. Um, I actually went to um, Donna Marie about a week ago and she was great. She was very very tough on my work and. I was really thrilled because at least I think, okay, well, I've got her, but I know at the moment she's um, not exactly, um, I'm not sure, you know, where, where her standard is at the moment for being an end up. But someone along those lines would just be great if we could be recommended to go to them, but obviously they might get bombarded by yeah, it's um, a hard one. people. Yeah. <laughs> I think. It's a hard one, I think, to say that we recommend to go to this person, this person, or this uh -huh. person. But people that you know, I mean, you can approach people that you know are current producing really solid work and, I don't know, sort of well-respected work or uh -huh. work that it's a, at a really good level Yeah, with a lot of experience. So people who have been on Q panels, like wedding, oh, wedding or portrait? Uh, for me, it would be wedding. Okay, so I can tell you that in the last three years, um, people who've been on the wedding panel, so have really immediate experience, um, Tracy Stamatakos, Sarah Beaufoy, um, Mike. Mike Hill, Nikki South, um, Emma. Emma Hughes, um, Alana Dresner, Karen Flick, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um, Isaac DeRoos, um, Blair Quacks. Have all been, okay. have all been, yeah. <laughs> okay, and one other question too regarding that is um, obviously if someone was on the um, on the judging panel, you couldn't obviously, you'd have to make or know that you can't go to them because they have to be anonymous, so you wouldn't. Uh, we'd have to be quite careful. Just say we were hoping to submit for, yeah. say, the, you yeah. know, the January or whatever. We'd have to make sure that they're actually not on the panel. Is that correct? That that um, they're not. Or how does that all work? I mean, there's generally five people on the panel, and yeah. so there occasionally there are people whose work, you know, like I'll say, no, I, I can't say anything about this one because I know this person. Okay. So I'm going to sit back and let the other four kind of judge it. And then when it gets down to the final discussion, I might say, you know, I noticed this or I noticed that. So, you know, so I guess that person then gives a bit less weight to their opinion because, and, and is really upfront about the fact that they know the work. Okay. So I cool. think it would be okay, but probably don't go to all those people. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be stuffed. <laughs> to totally. No, it's cool. Thanks. Hey, um, just to take us back one second, Megan just had a question about use of the NZIP logo. If you are a provisional member and you've won an IRIS award, can you use the logo when advertising that award, even if you're not yet a qualified member? I don't yeah, think so. I think you can use the wording. Um, yeah. And you, like, you could show a photograph of it with its um, corner thing. Mm -hmm. Which has the logo on it? Yeah, but yeah. I suspect that you couldn't then use that logo mm -hmm. in isolation on it on the website. I think would be how that would work. Join the lineup of all the people with their iPhones trying to photograph their award with the corner <laughs> thing yeah. on it, getting the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> there was a good um, someone, maybe it was Ollie Dale. I think last year had a really good um, little layer. Thing to put 
on top <laughs> instead of oh, the actual paper. Yeah, it looks really good. A digital version of yeah, the, a little digital yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah. That would be handy. That would be handy. Yeah. yeah. So thanks, Ollie. If you could send that out to all of us, that would be yeah. yeah, one for each one, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so any other um, questions before? Yep, I've got some more. <laughs> Good, go. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I'm, this is just more of a one directed to myself because um, my post-production skills, I really need to upskill. For example, I'd love to know um, what more I can do. For example, I'm on Lightroom 5 and sometimes I keep thinking, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Um, I think this is a real weak point with my work is um, things like localised adjustments and all the rest of it. Well, that's where I'll be struggling if I only ever use Lightroom. So basically, it really means that I have to really upskill in things like Photoshop, don't I, before I even attempt to do another queue because that's that's really my huge weak point there. Would you suggest, Would you say that's that's a good good thing to do? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. That's that's certainly something, and possibly more in wedding than portrait. That's a comment that gets made quite often. That, we, that you can tell the difference between something that's been edited with Photoshop and and like you say the localized adjustments. I know you can do a bit of it in Lightroom or Camera Raw, but to really get the most out of an image, I it's that fine tuning and polishing. I'll put my neck on the line. And say, yep, you need to use Photoshop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what is Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's cool, thank you. Um, and I've also got some images that I gave to Emily that, um, just to double check because they got, I actually thought they were quite good. <laughs> and then, um, I, e I emailed them to you, Emily, this morning, sorry. Um, I thought they were quite good, but then they got absolutely hammered at a local crit critique night, which is great because it makes me realise um, that these images were too flat, whereas I thought, oh, yes, they're really lovely. <laughs> so um, it's more the fact of um, recognising flat against what's not. And I'm starting to get that, but others, um, yeah, I think I've got a long way to go. Um, I'll just download them now, Simone. But do you um, do you have them, or are you guys ready to see them? If Simone has them on your, can you screen share Simone and show them, or otherwise I can do it for you. Um, I don't know how to screen share, to be honest. It's just um, to the left. There's just a if oh, actually on your if you have them open in Photoshop or Lightroom or Preview or whatever. Photo mechanic, whatever um, photo viewing software you are using. Once you have that open on your computer, if you just yeah. go to the left, there's a button under chat called screen share. When, once you hit that, that'll give you the option to select which screen open on your computer that you want to share. Yeah. I and just don't know how to get out of it though. That's my. It's more. I can do it maybe getting in, but then I may not be able to see any of you guys again. That's all. Um, no, we'll, all we'll do, you'll still be able to see the same thing, but we'll just be able, instead of your face, we'll just be able to see your screen. Okay, I'll give it a go. Okay. Thanks. Go for it, give it a go. Okay. Uh... No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> the whole of New Zealand is about to see your images. <laughs> <laughs> Where I put them? One moment. No pressure. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've got one here that was it's really, really. Images. So if I click onto it, um, um, click on the screen share button on the left. Okay. Of that window. Okay. Under chat. Right, got you there. And it'll show you whatever windows you've got open on your computer. Ah, uh, yeah. And just select the one that you're showing the photos in. And it okay. should show us the photo instead of. Mm. No, it's not. Okay, 
I'll just I'll start yes, downloading I'll start them. them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll start Sorry about downloading that. them so that I can I can share them for you. But um, that'll take me a minute if anyone. Oh no can. worries. Okay, we can. We'll talk about other stuff. I've I've got something to share. Oh. Rochelle's going to mime something. I oh, know Megan's going to mime something. Sorry. <laughs> um, Megan, you type. Oh, okay. She's Megan typed a question. Sorry, Jim. No, by all means, go. Um, you're next. <clears throat> Megan would like to know: is it, is it okay to outsource the edit? If you outsource the editing for your weddings, for your wedding album, um, it, can you still submit that into Qs? Um, is that yes. still possible? Yes, but you need to say that you've done it. And, um, yeah, I mean, basically like the Iris Awards, you need to have been in control of the process, I guess, so that you were asking for certain things and, and supervising the process, I guess. And, and, yes, you should include a note saying that you did that. Yeah, and I guess... Um, Going back on what you said before, if you have someone else design the album, that's not really a problem for. Yeah, no, that, that's absolutely fine. It's not taking you into the. Into um, and likewise with colour management, because I know a lot of people who print through Queensbury will have them do the colour correction. Um, yeah. That's fine too. Um, if you get, we often ask about it, like who did the colour management. Um, outsourcing yeah. it doesn't necessarily guarantee a great result, of course. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If it's if it's not up to scratch and you haven't done it, you're still responsible for yeah. the yeah. fact that you've that that's your finished product. Yeah. They say, I, I guess it would be the same expectation that you would be able to see the things that aren't right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Whether you outsourced it or did it yourself, you should still recognise if something is off. Yeah. Um. But no, I, I personally don't know anyone to recommend, sorry. To recommend? Oh, sorry, Adam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe not if, if I can recommend or if we can recommend anyone. I no, get about I've, 17 emails a day from people offering to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a lot of people out there, um, and I've, I've seen stuff that have been outsourced, and it's a, initially it's a bit of toing and froing back and forth with sample images to get it right. And then once they've got it right, then you go from there. So I guess you just trial mm. a couple of people who... Um, but ask in the ends up group. Yeah, I, yeah. I do know there are people who have tried it. And you could maybe save yourself some time. Yeah. And um, Jim, what were you going to ask? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. I'm still, no. still working. Still working. <laughs> um, well... Nick and Karen, did you want me to um, show you the three images that Simone has sent through to me, or did you want to talk, before we get to looking at those, did you want to talk about any, um, um, any more about... Uh, just one point I wanted to make with portrait, which is probably the same for weddings, I guess, is that when you're choosing images, try and take your emotional attachment away from the images. Just because you love an image doesn't mean that it's the right image to enter for your cues. So you ha cause quite often I hear, oh, but I really love that image. Well, that's okay, but it, it doesn't mean that it works. So you have to try and separate your favourite images from your best images. And it's a, it's a bit of a learning curve to separate the two. But it's a, um, it's a huge benefit to be able to do that. And another thing that I wanted to mention too with um, portraits that I've seen in some of the last couple of submissions is it's okay to retouch the skin but be really careful how strong you use it because uh, we saw a lot in the last couple of where it had been really overdone. So I just wanted to, to make a note for people just to watch how heavy handed you can be with, uh, with retouching. Oh, oh, and I've got another one. If you're going to retouch, mm -hmm. retouch the hands as well, not just the face. Yeah, and do it on a layer and and erase back, mask back those bits that sh that shouldn't be retouched. Like your your hair, hair shouldn't be and and smooth. Nos nostrils. And, yeah, and yeah. eyes and mouth. There should be texture where you'd expect there to be texture. Good tip. So that's 
So that's for both, well, that's for all categories really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And also if you're going to do, if you're going to start down that road with a wedding, consistency is really important. So mm. if you're going to start, you know, removing the groom's zit, you better make <laughs> sure it's gone in all the pictures, otherwise it's going to stick mm. out. Mm. Literally. Actually, yeah. don't you hate that when you when you decide with one <laughs> wedding image that you're going to retouch yeah. something and then you yeah. realise that you've got to do it in 600. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's really hard. Um, <laughs> it's hard to do this online, but to sort of talk about print quality, but print quality is huge because you can have an image that's, especially maybe a black and white, that prints really muddy and flat. And it, it can make a real difference because I can see the image online that I've been sent and it looks really nice. And then I look at the printed copy and it's really muddy and flat or the colors, the, the colors are off. So it pays to print, make sure that your printing is, is pretty spot on because you, you, can, you can miss out just based on your print quality because that's what you're giving at the end of the day. So it should be pretty top quality. And if it's not, you need to reprint, reprint. And if you can see the pile of iris images on my floor in my studio, which just about takes up the whole floor that I've reprinted and reprinted. Not that you require quite the same. No, no, not the, the not the same set. <laughs> not the same, but yeah. Not the same. If you have to reprint it. And I always think if you think that it's something they won't see, it's probably something that they will they see. Will. Yeah. yeah. There's no hiding much. Uh, Simone had another question as well. Yeah, um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Um, I was just going to check also about playing it safe. I remember seeing um, a past album about a year and a half ago, a past, and that the album was extremely safe. Um, you know, very, very, not so much safe as in um, very classic, very almost like your granny would have designed it because it was just very, <laughs> you know, classic couples, not too much artistic. Um, I know when I submitted mine, I, I definitely played it a bit safe as well. Um, but I had images in there that were really cool, but I got the comments that um, I, I, they would have liked to have seen more variety. I was playing a bit too safe with those images, you know, do better posing, things like that, do a bit more, a, a bit more point of difference. So um, I'm really nervous about doing it next time and just going, it might be a bit overboard because then it's almost like I don't want it to be too subjective either. So it's a bit of a tricky one. Was it maybe just that it was that panel at the time that felt that mine were a bit um, safe? <laughs> I guess that's one of those things that we almost always have to have a discussion about and the discussion goes back and forth and, and somebody on the panel will say, you know, this album's just, it's just a bit vanilla. It's just, you know, it, it doesn't have that X factor and, and then we say, well, we can't fail it for being boring, you know, how does, how does this all fit together? So it's not something that's easy to define. I hear what you're saying. It's, um, I mean, I guess I'm just going to share on screen, I hope it's going to work, um, the marking sheet. Mm -hmm. So can you guys see that? It might just take a second <laughs> to um, clear up. It should look pretty clear for you guys now. I'm going to post, <laughs> I'm going to post um, it, I meant to post it on the queue try hard so that people could see it. Great. So, so I will. I will post it. I just misplaced my copy. <laughs> <laughs> so these are um, what we'll do. First of all, we kind of open up the album or lay out the prints and kind of walk around it, have you know, flick through and get a general impression. And then we start going through and, and saying, um, you know, talk, talk about subject interaction. So the the person who's the scribe for the panel will say. Okay, what are we going to say here about, you know, the subjects look relaxed, comfortable, the photographer appears to have established good rapport, and the panel will kind of go, yeah, yeah, or, oh, yeah, definitely, or, mm, no, not really. So that's kind of how that form gets filled in. And as well as that, we're also looking at, no, no, look what's happening here. We've got, you know, the highlights are completely gone. Um, but it's very much a discussion process, so um, it takes an hour to an hour and a half to do each submission. 
it's, it takes ages okay. um, because we kind of go well hang on a minute you know this the, clearly the lighting is just crazy out of control during the ceremony you know we all know that that happens sometimes and there's you know the person the photographer has done as much as they can or no they haven't done as much as they could so um, so it goes back and forth on that um, poses are varied and flattering so not a lot, not that kind of you know shooting up people's noses kind of stuff um, as the owner of a chin that I don't love I always feel really bad for the bride when somebody's made her chin look terrible um, you know we all have our things um, print quality composition um, one of the things we see on that is cropping I don't know if you guys want to have a look through the album that I've got that I can show you um, there's some examples where the cropping's not appropriate or doesn't work very well. Um, lens and focal length for variety. You could shoot the whole wedding with a 50 mil as long as you're prepared to walk. Um, it's not necessarily required that you lo use lots of lenses, but that you think about creating variety in terms of the way the images are presented. Um, control of light is a huge thing, obviously. Um, exposures well exposed, well controlled highlights, appropriate detail. Um, black and white images have good tonality and contrast. That, um, like Karen was saying, that is something that does get picked up and discussed quite often actually. Mm. Um, and consistency. So if you're going with that um, low contrast, that, that thing that's a thing at the moment, that's cool, but make sure that it's consistent all the way through. So if you're Whatever it is that you're using, whatever your thing, or you, you know, if you've got a particular look to your images, that's all good. But make sure that underneath it, the images are good images and they're well exposed. That they were good images before we started putting stuff on them. Sorry about the phone. <laughs> I think because sometimes um, you can see that it starts up in one sort of style at the start of an album, and then suddenly it changes and then it sort of changes back and then it goes into something else. So if you've got a style that needs to be consistently shown throughout the album. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some something that, um, uh, something like skin tones and color balance throughout the album. Um, Even just all the different lighting situations during the day. This marking sheet I'm showing you actually is the portrait one. The only difference is what happens on this page two. So on page two of the portrait one, you've got the image number and specific comments for that, whereas on page two of the wedding one, it says album one specific comments. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, some things are maybe given a little bit more wasting um, with weddings. As I say, the consistency across them with weddings is really important. With portraits, it's not because they're taken from you know 12 different sessions in theory so so you actually spend about an hour hour and a half on this in on each person's submission yeah can cool. be the same for, can be the same for portraits too wow it's huge <laughs> <laughs> tell us <Yeah>. about it <laughs> when 10 of them turn up in the mail <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think too with with portraits, when you're entering it, it's you don't have to be. You can show, you know, a bit of your. You can sh show your style and and what you do. It's maybe not the time to go totally outrageous and adventurous. But for example, you can include that if the rest of your submission is is really strong. We had a submission last time that was really really strong. It was beautiful. So that, pers that person had included one that was totally off the wall and different because they knew the rest of their submission was quite strong, so they just wanted to show the other sort of stuff that they do. So you can, if you're going to do something like that, you just have to make sure the rest of it is really, really strong. Um, I might be just asking a question for the other portrait ones. Is Just say um, someone gets five past and it's, you know, the whole thing's a definite fail. Can they still use those five past images in their next submission? Um, yes. yes. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, do you want to show that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this is one from um, the last Q submission that was 
really strong. The printing was beautiful, the lighting was beautiful, his black and white conversions it had a really good tonal range. It was really strong. Yeah. Having said that, within that submission, yeah, the, that one there um, was not as strong as the others, and that um, as, there was a um, bit of discussion about the lighting not being quite as strong. That kind of yeah, that the blacks are merging into the background. Yeah. Um, without a clear reason why that would be. And there was one other. Um, this one. That's right. This one was actually submitted in color. Remember it was red? Yes, yeah. yeah, so it was submitted in colour and it got discussed about some of the distracting elements like the hair coming down under the nose and uh, just a much more harsher light. So it's that consistency throughout your submission. If you've nailed the lighting and you've got you know 11 images where the lighting is beautiful and then suddenly there's one in there where it's not handled as, as well, Mm. Then it leads to a discussion on that image that where it wasn't as strong as the others. Yeah, I mean definitely. I don't know if we, if you've said, but um, for portrait, um, you have how you how many do, images do you submit? Twelve, is it? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve prints, yeah. and out of those, ten need yeah. to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a lot harder than it sounds. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Oh, no, who's um, who's that, um, that submission was on Facebook? Oh. What's that, sorry? That submission that you just showed for the portrait cues was on Facebook, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it was in the queue. Is it publicly have. viewed? I mean, is it something I can go and have a peek at, or is it? Yeah, if you. If you if you're a member of the Q Tryhards, there's a lot of um, submissions in there that have passed and haven't passed. People are really good okay. at hearing what's worked I'll for add, them and what hasn't. I'll add you to that now if you want, Holly. Yeah, please, Em. Yes. That'd be great. Thank you. You're in. Well, maybe maybe Nicola and Karen have to accept you, but I've added you. Okay. Thank you. You're in. <laughs> you're in. Two people who were thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, do you want me to show those three images of yours, yeah. Simone? Yeah, that'd be great. Just to see uh, where I could have done better would be fantastic. Okay, so bear in mind that these are three individual wedding images and the wedding submission is the overall yeah. album. Um, so Nicola will actually speak about that. Mm. Um, screen sharing. Freezing. Mm, it's cold. So interesting fact while we wait for this, the um, NZIP <laughs> is 75 years this year <laughs> and we are sharing our 75th year with not only, not only Superman but also Spam. <laughs> oh, actual Spam, the moose, and meat. Oh. Actual Spam, 75 years. Wow. Has anyone ever tasted Spam? Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> Have you not? It's an acquired <laughs> taste. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. So here we have. Can you see that okay? Yeah. 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 Oh. Just make it a bit Can bigger. I tell you, so at the moment, before you, before you um, the yeah. one thing I haven't done with it is um, all I've done is basic colour correction only, um, taking out a couple of spots off on here. Um, and I know I've still got to work a little bit more on the shadowing on his left 
part of his face. But what I'm concerned with is um, would that fail if I put that into part of the album because of the bright light that's behind him? I actually haven't shown this image to anybody. Um, and it's actually an even image. You can see it. normally it's not cropped on her. Um, but things with that bright light behind, would that be something I'd have to tone down if I used an image like that? In, because even though I know it's a good image, would I, I'd, I'd have to make it better by toning down that light or just leaving it because it's part of the actual um, image? I think, I mean, the, the general guideline is that your eye goes to the brightest thing. And it's not far from their faces, but it is still not quite their faces. I would tone it down and and yeah. also make sure that you've sort of made their faces as bright as might be reasonable. You know what I mean? So to I'd probably lighten his face somewhat. Um, yeah, that that um, the orange shadow under her ear and chin is a little. There's the first thing concerning. I noticed. Yeah. And I'm not sure how his skin tone would print. Guys mm. with that colour skin, damn them. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's hard to get it right in print. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was a little bit concerned because that was one wedding that I did have um, the factors going pretty well, apart from things like his skin tone and very bright conditions in other places. So mm. I was a bit nervous of um, doing it because of the amount of distraction that's mm. that but I guess, you know, I mean, it's also an opportunity to show how you dealt with those difficult factors at a wedding. And, and I mean, we all know, like everybody on the panel shoots weddings, we all know that, you know, you never get the light you want in the with the background you want and, and everything perfect. So, um, yeah, to a certain extent, the, the way the wedding images are judged is a little more generous, perhaps, than portrait ones because mm. of that. Um, but the other thing about look at it's, it's really hard to look at one wedding image on its own yeah. because you I mean you're always looking at them in terms of the layer and then across the layer it's not just his skin tone in this image it's how consistent is it across the rest of that layout and then those other images that were shot in similar locations how have you kind of kept it consistent right across yeah yeah no that's cool I just thought that would be quite a good one to just sh to show you guys just as um, the amount of work I'd have to do to it to, to get that um, accepted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so next image that I have. Sorry, I'm not sure why my screen keeps doing that weird pixelation thing, but it should go away in a sec. There we are. Um. <laughs> This so, is, it, yeah, it's a sort of a similar thing with this. Like, I would wonder how that would print because their skin tone looks really red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a little red. Yeah. I guess... Black and white. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, I would say the same thing in that they're the darkest thing in the image, but they're actually the thing you want the viewer to look at. So I would be looking at kind of doing, like, the kind of localised adjustment stuff to get their faces brighter compared to the car. I mean, obviously they're inside the car, but you, know, you can see there's a bright spot on her shoulder. I'd be looking to try and bring the rest of that up, mm. which might then mess up the colour. I don't mm. know. Might be a good choice for black and white. Yeah, if in doubt, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> but it's no worries. Like, like that, that fine tuning. We should have, have t-shirts made. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and I mean, it's a beautiful moment. There's yeah. a lovely connection between them. And yeah, it's certainly, occasionally there are images where you think, you know, it would take a bit of work and, and it's not really worth it. This isn't one of those. That This yeah. is definitely worth it. It's a good starting point, I think. Yeah. Great. Um, ne next one, Simone? Yeah, I'm interested to see what you think of this one. This one got slammed. <laughs> <laughs> Makes us sound so harsh. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Pretty, pretty dressed. Mm. I'm a fan of the lens flare. 
Mm. 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 It's sometimes hard to tell without seeing the print, eh? Hey? Yeah. And, and it's bit like backlighting. Yeah. It, it's, again, it's one that's challenging to get it perfect in the print. Um, hmm. Did you get feedback on it? Any comments on it? Yep, yep. This is the one. Um, this basically, this is where I, I'm really struggling. Um, basically, the image to um, to both of them, big time, was that it's just too flat. It's just really flat. Um, and also, one of them also said, which really put me off it, was the fact. Oh my goodness, she's she's sneaking around the corner to have a pee. So, <laughs> okay, now I can't unsee that. Now that's all I can see. <laughs> I think, just as well she wasn't frowning then. <laughs> I guess I might wonder whether, I, see here's where you, your layout gives you an opportunity mm. to explain this. So on its own, I guess, yeah, there's a question over a slightly unorthodox or a slightly unexplained pose, but then in you in your supporting images, or maybe this is one of the supporting images, and you've also got ones of her sitting, you know, in other way, or in a more easily explained or more expected ways. Yeah, you, yeah. you've kind of got okay. to it. Yeah. Um, in terms of flatness, I mean, oh, I, I'm guessing there, the wasn't flatness of there wasn't a reflector in there. No, there now, wasn't. No. Yeah. I'm, I, Possibly the comment would be made that that would be something else to add to the image if you could go back in time and take it again um, or that moving forward it might be useful to add to your repertoire of things that you might carry around with you and use on a shoot like this. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to, again, with the, the thing about the flatness is if, if it's an artistic choice, ah, this is the thing. If it's a controlled and deliberate choice and it works, then it's fine. So if you can convince mm -hmm. the panel that this is a look that you were deliberately creating and that you've done it consistently across that whole segment of the wedding, then that is a much stronger thing than if all your other images are really uh, contrasty and punchy and the light's all very shaped and you know coming from the side and all that kind of stuff. It, it, yeah, if you've created the impression that you've done this in a controlled and deliberate way, it's a much stronger submission. I think that's the difference too. Like sometimes I hear people, they may be wedding photographers mainly, but then they go for their portrait cue first because they think it's going to be easier. Yeah. But it's not. It's If you're looking at a wedding, you've got an album to tell the whole story of the day and what's happening and what you're doing and who you are. And when you're looking at portraits, you've got one image from each session so you can't necessarily show the lead up and what's happening, like Nicola was saying, you know, within the story. So, and if you're in a portrait, you can fine tune every single little thing and, and make sure it all works. Whereas in a wedding, you don't expect that as much, eh? Mm. So one isn't easier than the other. Like don't assume that you should go for portrait because it's only 12 images and that's going to be easier. Sometimes it can be harder because I think they're <coughs> scrutinized a little bit harder. Mm. And in weddings, you've got a whole album to tell the story, which is what's expected, to tell the story of the whole day and who these people are. In portraits, you've got one shot. And it, the other thing, mm. the feedback that you might get um, from <clears throat> a wedding submission would be more kind of general comments. Like The other thing I noticed about that shot is that if you'd kind of you, there was an opportunity to kind of finesse that pose just a wee bit more and bring her shoulder back and get rid of that awkward bump on the back of her shoulder. So just just little things. So they may not be mission critical and they may not be the difference between passing and failing, but sometimes the comments are along those lines too. Yeah. So even if the submission passes, there may still be comments like, you know, think about, how you can further finesse the pose or further improve it or make more better use of the light or things like that. And I think one of the goals with Curious going forward is to have a lot of feedback to the people who do submit, especially if you're not successful. So you can really work on the, th on the things that you need to. So 
this this round I sent back the that marking sheet that you saw with all and I typed out all the comments image by image by image. So then the things that you've got a much clearer picture of we what the things that you need to work on. Thanks, girls. <laughs> <laughs> So, Simona, are you still going to go for your um, weddings or are you going to also go for portraits? Um, I think I've got too much work to do to, to even go near it for the next, you know, six or eight months. I'd love to do another wedding season um, before I even tried. I've mm -hmm. just started working on a few portraits now, but I've got a long way to go. Okay, does anyone screen share? else have anything to screen share? Uh, I, I, yep. I'm happy yep. to Can I screen share something? Oh. Yep, who, whoever's ready. Go. You, you seeing everything okay now, Rochelle? Mm, yep, I think so. How do I screen share that? <laughs> Emily, mm -hmm. in two places. <laughs> Me? Ah, you're screen sharing. <laughs> no. Nope. Have you got yours ready, Jim? Well, yeah. Hey, so what I've got, I wasn't quite sure what you might have wanted, so I've just thrown together, <laughs> which probably isn't the best <laughs> way forward. Um, thrown together a bit of an album. Because um, I'm a bit of a rookie when it comes to album design, so I would totally love and appreciate some um, some feedback um, if you'd want to to have a flick through awesome. and see what you think. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, would well, that be something that you guys would be keen on? Okay, well let me just um, get it into um, some some way of um, readability. That is a lovely moustache. Thank you, thank you. It, look, it looks well maintained. It is. I've been working on it uh, a lot, yeah. so um, and that's what it's about. It's about making sure that it's all about love with your moustache. Okay, all right. So let me just bring this up. Screen share. Okay, uh, there, and I'm doing it. I think. Is that working? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so now I'm assuming if I go onto that, onto that screen now, I can flip through. Might just take a second to focus up. That's going to be zoom in on it. <coughs> can nearly see it, Jim. Nearly there. Oh, oh. oh he's gone. Oh, there. He hit eject. Oh. He'll be back, don't no, worry. Maybe his moustache needed combing. Yeah. <laughs> We've got, um, I put a link to this in the Facebook Q tryhards and oh, cool. in our Otago Southland closed group and also in the NZIP members group and there's quite a lot of people watching I think it's been, it's, been, it's been shared in the world. Hi! Hi, <laughs> everyone! Hey! Um, Sorry, guys. I, I have up. some people <laughs> ask in those groups um, if you want to ask any questions as well. We can talk about some other things if we don't cover it. Um, so just, I'll just keep an eye on the, in the Facebook discussion. So just feel free to send anything through. Do, do you know what happened there? Did I just get thrown off the, the hangout or something? Or? I think I think your moustache was not accepted. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
a bit down about that now. Oh, that's oh, what you're doing. I see you're off home with it. You're going to be all right with that one. You sure this one's better? I'm, I'm happy to go for a bit yeah. of beard. Yeah. <laughs> little moustache. Yeah. Yeah. I like the last moustache. Yeah, I like, I like the curly one. It was much more distinguished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, should I give that a go again? Or, or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, right, okay. Let's try this again. I'll have to go back. Hang on. So Is let me know if it all goes. Riveting watching for everyone. Yes. Good. Well, this will be good on YouTube, hey? Yeah. Right. I think it's got three hits so far. Woohoo! We're going viral. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Justin okay. Bieber. Can you... It's New Zealand, that is viral. Does that oh. work? Yes. Yes. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So let yeah. me know when you want me to press. Play or whatever it is you do, uh, scroll. Can you thing. zoom in on that page? Just um, You're asking me. Just command plus a little bit on your screen, Jim. No, uh, I'm actually on the. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe panic. Um. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's it. Here's a cat while everyone's waiting. Oh, you got a new pussy cat. I love the shadow in the background. Bit, bit of cheese. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's first picture anyway. So yeah. let me know if you want um, so, so to. Maybe scroll through. Yeah, maybe uh, scroll. Maybe scroll through it all, Jim, so that we can yeah. get an overview of cool. the entire layout. Would that be yeah. a good way to do it, Nic Nicola? Nicola. Um, yeah, well, shall I just kind of say some stuff that randomly comes into my head, kind of like we would in the panel. Okay, hang on. Yeah, oh, let me just sure. um, get a notebook out. Oh, yeah, she's all on YouTube anyway, isn't it? Watch it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I really like the surprise with the shadows. I'm not crazy about the line going across the middle through everybody's heads. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, her, her hand and the fact that he's kind of, the, the, her left hand is just kind of sticking out oddly from her dress, but that would be easy to fix. Cool. Um, yeah, I, I guess I, I, my, the jury's out. I want to see what else you've got, whether I'll forgive you for the lines through the head. All right. Yeah. And the skin tone looked... I just wanted yeah. to see it closer because the skin tone looked quite orange. They were. They were both from um, Orange County in, in California. <laughs> <laughs> and got spray tans, no doubt. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at this. I'm like, wow, very cool. Mm. Yeah, this this photographer has picked a different angle, has looked for something different. I love it. So, yeah, love, 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 yeah. love, love. Yeah, love that one up the bottom of the dress. I thought that was a flower to start with. Yeah, shame she wasn't wearing it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that photographer. Yeah, we see your, we see your style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love. I love the images on the right-hand side. I like the way you've used the lines. Okay, now I, I've got a bit of bee in my bonnet. Um, people keep saying to me, don't put colour with black and white, don't put black and white with colour. I, I love doing that personally. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. But people get people seem to keep throwing things at me and toys at me saying, don't do it. So, yeah. are you guys um, okay? It, it, it's, occasionally it doesn't work. Okay, well, we'll see what happens but, later on in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, that works, I, Yeah, that, I, that works, I think. Yeah, I think because the majority of the image is black and white, and then you've just got those little bits of colour. And because it's so okay. graphical. Yeah, yeah, it works. Um, the black and whites on the left, I would be we caref we bit careful that they don't print too dark. Yeah. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that would okay. be my question. Oh, do you know what? I just went to click on the next button to go to the page. <laughs> Yeah, it works as well. Look, see. And it took three pages. Yeah. Yeah, be really careful about those pinky skin tones. Yeah, it looks really orange. Okay, cool. Um, like Oompa Loompa. <laughs> yeah. Really, well, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Um, but remember that Photo Junction doesn't color manage so you're yeah. seeing the the Monty version of the color so when yeah. you open that in Photoshop it looks better than that I promise. Scarily it's not as orange to me but then I don't know that. <laughs> Maybe I am just really orange. 
Hey, Jim, also that flower shot looks a bit blown out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay, I can read that. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous, eh? Cool. Cool. Nice interaction between the people. Like, they're obviously not oh, playing you. for you. They're genuinely interacting, which is nice. Very cool. Love the one on the left. Cool yeah. Coolness with the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Cool. Complete history of New Zealand. Yeah, well, they're from America, so it was um, quite a right. treat. It's a cool, that was a cool book. Looking book. Cool book. The colour's looking better there, eh? Yes. Yeah. Nice car. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. Okay, Very I'm just on the screen. I like I like the way you're using the images to kind of move the story along. That you've mm -hmm. I like the variation between the close up and the far away, um, the you know the point of focus. All of that stuff makes it visually interesting. And the layouts are very balanced. Mm. Yeah, I feel I feel quite balanced at half past one this morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes when they're too complicated or they're too many, I find it quite confusing when you're looking mm. at it. You don't know, your eye doesn't sort of know which image to rest on, but this cool. just kind of flows through nicely. Well, let's see what happens when it gets a bit busier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it gets to a point where that's okay when you're getting more... Well, some parts of the yeah, day yeah. are fast and chaotic yeah. and other parts are relaxed and calm and when you have a lot of guest yeah. shots and a lot of those sort of things I reckon it works. Oh, sorry, I actually I should probably I, um oh, love, me up slightly. love the dog. Good old dog. Oh there you go. So it's actually oh, sorry. It looks like I'm cropping it. Where is it? Um, that winery from Green Okay, cool. Yeah. Location. Oh, ha, cute. Oh, that's very clever. Yeah, I like. It, it's that's not good. perfect, but it's kind of. That's, that's very. Right. That's very cool. Okay. Took me till I got to the till I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit slow. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Go back one. Oh. That top left one on the right-hand side layout. Oh, I recognise that Shandy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, she's dark and orange and scary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I Looks like it's it. focused past you on the background, eh? Oh, mm. Mm, it's not. But yeah, I hear you saying. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that can um, be a... Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> okay. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's lovely. Ah, oh, now that one on the right hand side, that's Either. something we see a lot. Like the colour gets really tricky when. Oh, I hear it. the colour one. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. the reception, that's something that happens quite often. We see somebody who's controlled the colour all the way through the day and we get to the reception and, and they kind yeah. of get lots yeah. of orange skin. And, yeah. um, so that's, that's really good that that's in there. Yeah. Um, Great. Probably yeah. a good choice for black and white. Yeah. And yeah, 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 absolutely. Black and white too would downplay the, the um, beam going into his head and down into her head. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh, that's, oh, I'm happy that, with that. Excellent. All right. Yeah. yeah. Nicely done. That actually, that one of her hugging is it her dad? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Um, has it's got a li nice little story all in one place. But. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That, that was mine. It would be in my iris potentials folder. Yeah. <laughs> I got poo pooed that by a certain person, so no. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, but I won't say who no, it was. Jack, yeah. Jack I like the sequence of the same pose in all the different spots. Is that would probably go in my iris folder? Yeah, yeah. I like that. So. No, yeah. 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 Nothing like a bit of poo pooing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, That's why there's five pages. What was the no? criticism of that one? Do you want to share what was the criticism of that? 
Well, <laughs> you don't get, have to. They didn't but... get the story. How oh. could you not get the story? <laughs> oh, okay. <well>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Well, that's, that's okay. that, that whole thing about be careful who you ask and choose which bits you listen to. Yeah. Yeah, don't say that. That's, that's, just, that's just put the fear of God into me now. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I have 10 images sitting behind me that are... Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so this gets a lot busier. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, um. Oh, that must have loads of pictures on it. We can um. Do we just pause it or something, or? So how'd you find doing your um al your first album layout, Jim? Oh, so freaky. Yeah, I like good old blogspot. Boom, 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 done. This is um quite a bit of faffing, but yeah, that's cool. It's all right. A bit of music on, and um, yeah, good to go. But um. I, I have done one before where I've, I've just sent off to clients, um, which is cool, cool. but um, like I say, last night was just thumping something out to, last night was off to, to give it a go. It's nearly there. What's happening? Is it, is it um, what's going on? It's just loading, but it's nearly. Oh. Oh, okay. So you're not getting the picture. Okay. Oh, not yet. No. Oh, there we are. We're there, but it's just going to take another sec to focus. Okay, we're there. We're busyness. We're focused. Sorry, I didn't realize. I thought you guys were pointing out for something else. Okay. No, but we are now. Okay. Great moments. The color is going to be your biggest issue here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the skin tones. Right, that's cool. Are we seeing all. Yep, go ahead. What was that? Sorry, are we seeing? Is there a question? Oh, oh. Um, uh, oh, there you go. Saying. I think I'm. I think I'm losing the everything. Yeah. Uh, Megan's asking, are we seeing all the images there? I think we're zoomed in a wee bit so that. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Let me just. Um, yeah. Um, I I have a question, and I guess it's really just a design question about yep, the food images. Whether whether the food images deserve to be bigger than some of those people. Yeah, no, good, good, good point. Yeah, yep. actually, I just realised that's actually out of line. And I'm I kind of get a bit obsessive about putting images that are similar, not putting them together. So yep. like I'll. Break them up so that yeah, but great. That might just me again. That, I mean, those are design things that yeah, that's fine. Might be commented on, but won't be the difference between pass and fail. Okay, but that's that's good. That's a good valid point. Like I said, I was just sort of chucking them on there, but um, yeah, brilliant. Thank you. And and obviously skin tones and color, just making sure it's all sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's see what we get here. In terms of the design, it feels like you run out of steam at this point. <laughs> <laughs> was that fair like enough. too late okay. by the time you got okay. to this point? <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Okay. The yeah, images okay. are lovely. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably the, the, the biggest thing is just a little bit of feedback. You know, does it flow? Does the images, do they tell a story? Um, am I on the right track with this to submit it yes. in terms yeah, of... With, with, a lot, with a lot more work. In fact, obviously, I mean, I have just thrown it together, but... Um, yeah, so with, with a little bit more work, making sure it all flows, but this would be an okay wedding. The only thing I have yeah. about this wedding is that there's no bridesmaids or, or grooms or anything else for that whole posing, and we didn't go off to do photos. So is that still okay? 
Yeah, it is what it is, and and it has to be okay. You know, I mean, if um, the the kinds of weddings that you photograph are the kinds of weddings that you should be submitting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's all yeah. fair enough. It's good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let somebody else um, have a go. Um, another thing, just before someone else starts about the wedding uh, album submission, is that it's how many images is the minimum in the album? Is it thirty or yeah, I think it's fifty. Yeah. Oh, fifty. Yeah. yeah. So um, and that one's ninety-two. It's got the little count down the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah. yeah. So, so that page, Jim, where you had um, the the food images, that was kind of Skinny maybe. Right down and it was a bit difficult with the colour balance. For the Q yeah. submission, you could actually leave out. Yeah, quite absolutely. A few mm. Things. Okay. Yeah. Although having and, said and that, still have a really strong and have a really strong yeah. album of. Would you think, Nicola? Yeah, we've never in the last three years gone through and counted images to make sure there were enough. Um, once an, mm. a, an album didn't pass because there wasn't enough of the story. There would have been 50 images, but there wasn't a good communication of the feeling of the day. And so that, I think, is more important than actually counting to make sure you've got enough. I, I think 50 is really not very many. I think it would be... It's not... You probably it's not feel that you were being too stingy with 50. Can I ask a quick question? Because one yeah. of the weddings that I shot recently that I loved that I would think about submitting for a queue, um, I don't have that many detail shots. Um, and is that, would that be something that would go against it because it's not showing the whole story? Or, or um, yeah, that's the question. Um, probably not. I think. Once where we've commented on the story or the completeness of the coverage, it wasn't for lack of details. It was more for lack of the rest of it, okay. the, the people parts, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Hey, thank you very much for that, Lola. No worries. Thank you for sharing it. <laughs> uh, Rochelle, did you have your... Uh, yeah, I do. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so these are for a portrait queue, and some of them, like the first one, is just, is that kind of shot workable for a queue, or is that sun flare too much? Uh, which which one? The... Sorry, who, oh. who asked the question? Which one are we talking about? Oh, Rochelle. I'll answer. Yeah, Rochelle's Can you asking. see my image? Oh, right, yeah. Can um, you're screen sharing Jim at the moment. Oh, here we are. I am. Oh, am I? No, no, yeah. no, sorry. You're just on Rochelle's. Just zoom in a little bit on that, Rochelle. And then re-ask your question. So, for a portrait, is that is the sun flare um, on, over Holly, the, the girl on the left, is that going to be too much to, like, she's sort of quite washed out? Is, is yeah, I think too much for a queue. Like, would that would that be a yeah. problem? Or? Yeah, I think that something like that, like a, a sun flare, it, it can either add sort of a feel to an image, or it can take away. And I think this is just taking away from the image. It's overpowering it. it you can't actually see the right. people that you need to see. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, because they're looking at the camera, okay. it looks like the kind of shot where you expect to be able to see the faces. If they were chatting amongst yeah. themselves, it might, you know, like if it was a bridal party and they were, and it was clearly a chatting amongst yourselves shot, it might be a different, mm. you know, it might work in that communicating that feeling kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Cute little boy. Hmm. Um, yeah. Um, I did did quite a bit of work on this one to remove some stuff from behind him. Right. Um, he's got quite. I'm just. Zoom in a wee bit. Um, 
Yeah, I was a little bit worried about his skin tones. So he's got quite olive skin. It's hard with, I find it's harder with olive skin people that have like a, sort of a, a bit of an orangey undertone to their skin or a bit of a red, natural sort of red tone. Um, it doesn't look too bad on there. It would all come down to how it printed. I think it's a nice standard portrait and yeah I don't see too many issues with it it would just you just have to be careful about how it prints it looks nice and sharp he's got good light in his eyes nice clarity and he looks well engaged he looks like he's naturally smiling yeah okay uh, yeah We're still on that same image, Rochelle. Can you see that one now? Uh, not quite yet, but... Can you see that one yet? No. no. Luckily, we like looking at this little boy's face. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. No. We've just zoomed in. Is it there now? Hang on. I'm changing. It's taking a while. My internet's for average. So, where are you at the moment, Rochelle? Where's home for you again? Exactly. I'm in Belfa. Belfa, it's an hour and a quarter yeah. south of Queensland. Belfa. <laughs> yeah. Blink can you miss it. How cool is it that you didn't have to drive and you could just do this online? <sighs> Very cool. <laughs> hey, just a quick question. Sorry. Uh, do you want... Do you, we're waiting for this. Sorry, are the portraits, are they, they're printed, aren't they? Or are they digital? Yeah. 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 They're printed. Do you have the digital files as well? Yeah. Yes. So with, when we send you an album, the actual physical album, do you want the digital of that as well? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh. Crikey. Okay. Yeah. Because what we do that's, is... That's we easy, Jim. Yeah, 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 I know, but it's more chance yeah. you can look in and zoom in and see all the horrible stuff. No. <laughs> that's the nice thing about the, the little... The, the panel doesn't have to all be in the same place at the same time, so what we do is right. we have some people sit in the room with the physical album and then we have one or two people who've swiped in who are looking at it in Dropbox. And so okay. that, it means that that list of people who've been on a wedding panel is longer than it would otherwise be and they're more yeah. geographically diverse. Yeah. So there's no advantage of me sending a 4x4 uh, a four four album in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, in fact, there is a size limit, I think. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes, um, like, we used to occasionally get, like, um, Queensbury copy albums, the 7-inch size or 5x7. It's just a wee bit wee. Like, you just really can't see enough detail. Sure. So, yeah. We're ready. Can you guys see that now? Um, we can see um, <laughs> the screen. Desktop. Um, sorry, yeah. the hangout screen. We could see it full size before. Yeah, it was it was fine before. Mm. I think. I mean, in terms of looking at that image, that the hands are not ideal. Yeah. Like the expressions are gorgeous. So would, the color yeah, looks I good. The that, hands would be the problem. Yeah, like the. Girl, the younger girl, her hand just it makes it's a lot of tension in her hand. That's what I thought would. I was just wondering. Yeah, that's what I thought would do for that image. Yeah. But yeah. It's, the top half of it is really nice, and it's really nice colours. Mm. Mm. Crop yeah, it I'm in. just annoyed that I didn't see. Didn't see the. I oh know it's quite hard though because Molly's so much shorter than the other two girls. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's quite hard to cry. Yeah, um, I did. I had kind of played with it, but yeah, maybe not. Um, I've did changed you... my screen again, so hopefully it updates yeah. to a picture yeah. of yeah. London. Yeah, can... can you zoom in on this one a little bit? I I much prefer it as a closer crop because there was a lot of white sky, which sort of yep. drew your eye upwards. I'm yep. having issues with that horizon line. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crooked. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if that'd be a problem. And going through the heads. Yeah. I mean, it's got the colours all work together, the expressions, the baby's looking at you, and yeah. you all know that that's not easy, and it, everything else yeah. about it I like. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit nice light in that one. Mm. Okay. The others. Oh. One more. I changed it again. Can you see that one now? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, like, I mean, it's so easy to take, you know, a nice huge shot like this. How many of those is it safe to put in your submission? Like, you don't want to. I don't want to fill my submission with those, but. Yeah, no, if you right. had that one and another one of the wee yeah. boy, would that be okay? Or yeah, I would say two. Yeah, and the fact that okay. that one and the boy are different crops. Yeah, is also a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was more of him. That, his his wasn't really a headshot. No, hey? I wouldn't think so. Yeah, so I wouldn't classify as his as a uh, headshot. So you might get uh, you might get to squeeze one more in. Right. Okay. Cool. That's a nice portrait of her. This one here. Oh yeah, I've just changed my screen. <laughs> There's one last one. It's, it's a black and white one, and um, I'm just wondering. I don't know whether it's going to work or whether I need to crop it tighter because of the amount of um, sky behind them. But I'll see if I can just crop it. And I'll zoom in on it. I would crop that tighter because the the space at the top is kind of unnecessary. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't add anything to it, and that would raise the eye level up to the sort of more to the top third than rather sort of being dead center. Also, you don't have so to sit with a two three crop. You could do a yeah a custom crop. Yeah. 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 And they're all sort of okay, but other than uh, all right, you're all right. Keep going. Yeah, no, I mean, other than that, the expressions are great. They're all engaged. And they'll kind of work. Like, sometimes you've got one kid who's not really into it. Like, the guy on the end looks like he's not as into it, but he's there with yeah. you. He's not opting yeah. something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. You sent me quite a few more, I think. Michelle? No, those those were the ones that I sent you. Oh, okay. Someone's just asked about the limb crop. I was just thinking we should probably talk about that. Um, yeah. If it was something that we were seeing in several images, it would certainly be commented on. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, it can go either way. It's... Um, I'd be arguing that it's just okay, but there might be four other people on the panel who would say, no, it's not at all. So, yeah. Sorry, that's really no help, is it? <laughs> it's, it's, about where you, it's about where you crop on the limbs, though, isn't it? If you crop Absolutely, it, yeah. If you crop at, yeah. wrist, at wrist, it looks like you've just chopped their hands off. If you crop sort of mid-arm... The general rule is don't cut through joints. Yeah, yeah. But, so wrist and elbow is not okay, I, don't, I think. Yeah. It, but forearm and... Sort of mid here works better. Yeah. So that last shot, that was of a wrist crop. Yeah. Yeah. But well, it was on one of the yeah, bits, but then it was mm. mid. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Because they, were, yeah, which is why I was kind of really hard. 
it's quite hard when you've got kids of different ages and sizes. Yeah. You know, to get that crop perfect. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I took that from further back. I didn't. I took them all in close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Megan's Great. got some images. Yeah, Megan's got some. Yeah. Are you all right to share those, Megan, or do you want me to share them for you? <laughs> Megan's got having microphone problems, so she's going to be. <laughs> she's <sh> muted. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's going to be using interpretive dance. <laughs> Last year at college, you were praying, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hello. Here we go. No, it was there for a second and now it's gone. Oh, we saw it and then it, it disappeared. You got it eight now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colours, it's nice and, mm, yeah. nice and punchy. Yeah, it is. It feels really natural. Yeah. The only thing I would watch is that it, because you have to mat the images, when you mat at the bottom of that, you're going to be really, really, really close to her arm. If yeah. You, don't have to mat them, you just have to mount them. Oh, yeah, but if you mount them, it won't be an issue, but if you mat them, it will be. Okay. Cool. We saw, saw it, some of that um, last time where the images that I'd been sent online, there was a bit of space around them and it was fine, yeah. but when they'd been matted, they'd been too they'd been too close to fingertips and arms and heads and mm. yeah, and you can get pulled up on that. Because again it's something that you can control. Mm. Cool. But I like that. Yeah. I like that too. Fun? Yeah, that's nice. It's good skin colour. Yeah, really good skin. Cool. So next one? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love all the twisty branches in the background. Mm. I'd be yep. watch that's the bright spot on that tree branch. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That scarf looks pink. pink. Looks the like pink it, scarf. It yeah. Looks like it's clipping the highlights, maybe. In the yeah. Reach out, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's a pretty little light patch. Oh, it looks it like is. it's coming from within the tree. It looks good cropped in too. I wish. Yeah. I wish the baby was smiling more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was very serious. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's another one of that family. Yep. Oh, no. I told you you're serious. <laughs> that one's lovely too. I think that oh, if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd choose the outside one. Yeah. Okay. Just liquefy a smile. Somebody else said it. We're all thinking that. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'm on the right track then. Yeah. 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 Oh. Thank you. I think too when you've got some good solid images like that, you create a benchmark. And if anything yeah. falls below that, then you shouldn't include it. If it goes above that, then it's great. But you just take your strongest you know, like some really strong images and create that as your benchmark. Okay. If you look at something and you go, oh, yeah, no, oh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of... It's not as good as... Yeah, it's not as good, yeah, no. but then don't include it. Cool. Thank you. No worries. Um, Rich Rochelle wanted to share another image. Yep. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, just Ah. 
Can you guys see that? No. Not just yet. Not just yet. Okay, it's it's the same. Um, it's a shot from this of the same four kids as before, but I wonder whether it's a stronger image. Just not sure about the little guy. He's got his mouth wide open. <laughs> oh, um, just is anyone else seeing that? No, no. I can only see it on the thumbnail. I I would much oh, yeah. rather. Uh, I'd rather his head wasn't right above the other person's head. But, in yeah. terms of creating a pleasing composition, heads one above the like stacked on top of each other, stacked up heads is not yeah. as nice to look at as slightly mm -hmm. offset heads or yeah. creating triangles. It was Russell Hamlet talks about the triangle thing all the time, right? Yeah. Like I've got some shots. Mm. That's yeah. something they said. There is someone who's. I want to see it bigger though, because it looks like he's got quite a quirky expression, mm -hmm. and sometimes that fun. Sometimes crazy. Yeah, he. Um, yeah, it was the end of the shoot, and he was he's only two, and he was getting a bit tired. So giving him something to do to sit on top of his brother was kind of the idea. But I have some where he's actually sitting up, but he's not as engaged. Mm. Um, which no, gives you the triangle. Yeah. 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 So that, yeah. I I would actually argue with the pedantic person on the panel who moaned about the heads in a stack in that one. I would say no. Nah, yeah. Good. If he if he didn't have that expression on his face, if he was just looking slightly disengaged, it wouldn't work. Yeah. But because he looks but, right. and the fact that he's cracked up his siblings as yeah. well. Yeah, mm. it all works because it all ties in with each other. He becomes kind of the okay. um, yeah. yeah. With that Almost image there, like would you clone the foot out that's on the left? Yeah, What's that, the, sorry? The foot. The foot on the, the left hand side. Would you clone mm. that out? Uh, I have a thing about things like that. I like to see a bit of body because mm. when I just see torsos, it makes me feel like they're just a body dug into the ground. <laughs> it's, that, it's that floating torso feel. So I like slightly angled where you see a bit of the body. Mm. You need the gumboot sitting beside the torso. Yeah. It grounds it always it almost it always grounds it for me. It makes me feel yeah. like I've got some dimension on them, not just they're just a head, shoulders, arms, and hands. Mm. Yeah. Plus, that would be a nightmare to try and clone out because yeah. they jump us. So. Yeah. 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 No, I, yeah, yeah, I like it for those reasons. I'm a bit of fun. <laughs> and I'm on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> 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 cool. Thank you very much for that. Cute. Mm. Karen, did you have any images that you wanted to share or ask about? No, I'm on my um, Mac. Everything's on my PC. Oh, you can um, screen. Karen, you should screen share the recent one that you posted up on your Facebook page. That's really awesome. Yeah, you could just screen share your Facebook. Yeah, okay, I have a try. Have a try. While Karen fixes that up, um, Nick and Karen, is there any other info that you wanted to share about the process that hasn't been brought up in questions? Um, Whoa, look outside. I think, I think just... Uh, I would com I just want to comment too on black and white. It's just making sure that you've got a good tonal range in them and that they're not muddy and flat and grey. Do you want me to show my really bad black and white so everybody knows what not to do? Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on, I'll find it. So does anybody want to see my failed Q submission? Yeah. If you want to show it, <laughs> okay. if you're up to that, it'll be I'll very helpful. I'll show my failed Q submission. Do, do we have actually? Um, do we have a past Q submission here to, yeah. to see? That's nice. Like, yeah, uh, a, wedding, a, a can, wedding album, perhaps. Yeah. I can show a past album if. Cool. That'd be awesome. Um. So, Me uh, Megan, while you get that ready, why don't we just quickly have a look at Karen's because she's got her screen shared. Yeah. So Karen is. Are you in, you bluff, Karen, or impeccable? Bluff. Bluff, and you're doing a lot of boudoir photography. Woohoo! Yeah. 
Yeah. I think that's really nice and it's it's really flattering on you. My only thing would be I would watch how it would print being so dark to make sure that you still had sort of definition in the areas that you needed to be so it wasn't sort of like but in the bottom half of her black dress you just want to see some separation between that and the background. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. What about so she her wasn't colleague? so she's not like a torso in a leg with yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. There'd have to be some separation to be seen. Yeah. Mm. But if that was beautifully printed, yeah. That, uh, yeah. That would come up really nicely. Yeah. Alrighty, thanks. Everyone go like Karen Johnson boudoir photography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to show any others, Karen? Um, actually, I wouldn't mind. Um, have go a bit on. of lighting, so I will if that's all right. It's fine. We might get a jump in viewers. Yeah. <laughs> 85 notifications. Get on. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you see that one? Yeah. 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 Um, the lighting. Flat? <laughs> I don't think it's that flat. No. The thing is, people who complain about flat light in photographs of women are not usually women. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that women really like photographs of themselves lit with what might be called flat light. Mm. It's soft and it's even and it's very flattering. And so I think that when it's used as a deliberate choice and it's used yeah, I guess in a controlled, careful way, when it's it's actually something that you've chosen, I, it's not a problem, I don't think. Mm. I think it's a very appropriate choice for the style of photography. Okay, mm. it's good to know. From the bottom of the light down to the top of the headboard, is that a light switch clicky on thingy? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a backdrop, it's flat. Oh, okay, I thought oh. it was a, I thought there was a line with like a little cord, like, you know, yeah, that you yeah, like, there there is. it on. Yeah, there is. there is. But it's not real. It's just oh. one, yeah, one flat backdrop. Oh, that's the headboard backdrop, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it's cool. Pretty, it's pretty cool. I've seen that a couple of times. I'm well impressed with that. Yeah. Oh, that it doesn't, look like, it doesn't look like a backdrop, does it? Huh. Yeah, people are quite um, surprised when they arrive. They think that there's a this massive big bed. Yeah. <laughs> um, one thing I would say about the lighting is that her hand is a little bit brighter than her face and I would tone that down slightly. Okay, thanks. Um, but that shadow under her nose is nice and soft and there is light in her eyes. Mm. Sometimes when you get the light high enough to create the nose shadow, you lose it in the eyes and you haven't done that, so that's really nice. I think light in the eyes is just such a crucial part yep. in a portrait. You've just got to have light in the eyes. All right, thank you for that. My Q submissions are ready to go if you want me to screen share that. Cool. cool. Yeah. Ready when you are, Megan. So that one there passed. Just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was number two. That's a failed black and white. Yeah, because I think it, it had printed quite it, flat. It printed really flat. I should probably yeah. be showing the prints as opposed to the digital files. But things that black and whites that print that print flat are quite an easy fix if you go back and sort of add a little bit more contrast or something to them and just watch how they're printed. I, I think of all the things that if you fail, then, yeah, that's something that's not too hard to fix. So oh, I was... Sorry, what would you do um, besides adding more contrast? What else could could you do to make that image not so flat? If it was me, I'd probably um, just do a bit of a curves adjustment, or I'd just play with the brightness and contrast. 
Okay. So I was worried about losing the detail here in this black, in this piece of hair, in the section down under her right ear. But you can do that. You can do it on an adjustment layer and just erase back in bits that you don't okay. want to go up darker. Right. Cool. Cool. And um, this one failed because of the skin tones. And on the mat, it cropped off her finger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when it was matted, which I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I remember that it was quite orange in the t in the skin tone. Yeah. So, and his skin colour is really different to hers? Yeah. So, is it good to try and get the two skin tones to match, or do you have them separate, like, well, they're naturally different skin tones, so what do you do there? I would... I would try and get them closer to each other, but not okay. the same. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. If in doubt, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I'm like so all black and whites in, though. <laughs> yeah. That was a pass, that one. <laughs> Actually, that just makes me think of a question. Can you submit all black and whites for your portrait if you generally deliver black and white portraits? I think you'd have to be, you'd be held to a slightly higher standard on them yeah. because you weren't giving us information about your colour management abilities. Okay. This one here failed on print quality. Yeah. And the panel didn't like her arm, mum's <laughs> arm. She's kind of half in her pocket, half not. Yeah. And I yeah. think maybe if the print quality had been stronger, it might have been something we would have noted. And yeah. yeah, but we talked we talked quite a bit about this one. Mm. Because it was it it wasn't super sharp. No in the print. No. no. And I think in the end that was what what kind of did it that we we liked the idea of it we we liked a lot of things about it but at the end of the day if it's not yeah sharp sharp like it should be then it's just not cutting it. Because I think someone made the comment that it's a kind of portrait that any family would love to have on their wall really large, but if you as the photographer had that on somebody's wall really large and then they walk up for closer inspection and it's not sharp, you kind of lost your credibility straight away. See, it's interesting because I have this printed on canvas in my shop window and it's really, really sharp, so I'm not sure what happened there. I obviously mm -hmm. was not paying close enough attention in my printing, so it's been a really good lesson in terms of printing and what not to do. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that was my highest image, like my strongest image. Yeah. So I can resubmit that into my next submission, can I? Yeah, you can. And, and like I said about benchmarks, you know, that was your highest image and that was a really easy pass and everybody loved it. So then that should become your benchmark. Okay. Got everything else to measure up for. Cute. Oh, that's so cute. This one here. And uh, yeah. the sharpness again. Yeah. So, Karen, was that because the jeans are sharper than his face? Yeah. Yeah. And we really liked this one. We yeah. were really sad to have to not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was lots of coming on that too. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, sharpness is such a big thing. Mm. Yeah. You can, you can maybe forgive a lot of things, but sh clarity is not one of them. Yeah. Mm. Um, can I just show you what I've just done with your other picture? Yeah. Hang on, I'll um, I'm out of screen share. You can just leave yours on there if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Megan, so that's... Can you zoom up on there? Yeah. <laughs> that's just a screen grab, so it's got the little thingy. <laughs> I forgot to move the thingy thing. <laughs> that was the starting point. Um, so that's the curves. Oh, how do I show that? Is that considered to be a layer? A what? Is that going to be a layer in, in RS Awards? Having that little thing there, would that consider to be a layer? <laughs> <laughs> I did it on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> so <I'm>, the <laughs> client loved it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Very cool earrings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she had a moustache. <laughs> I can organise that. <laughs> so that was... Um... Oh, 
Oh, so much different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I've killed it. <laughs> but it was just a quick, like a yeah. quick curves layer show that it just made it that bit more punchier and a bit more lively. Yeah. But we can't see it now. Okay. Let's do it again. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Go back to history and start away again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. I don't know how to use Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Photoshop 6 confuses me. Nothing's where I expect it to be. Right, okay, so right there's, on one, there's the starting point. There's, there's what it was. Mm -hmm. And it just lifts the skin tones from being flat, and then it mm. creates a bit more... Yeah. yeah, a bit more depth to it. I mean, you can play around with it. And then Nicola erased and back in some of the darker areas that you wouldn't want to go any darker on. Yeah. Yeah. Like down here. Yeah. yeah. And just I reckon a little push of contrast would just give a little bit more mm -hmm. depth to it. But even that, just straight away, it just lifts up the the, the flatness of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, go back to yours. Um, I can't find it now. What do you guys like to drink? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys got that now? Yeah. 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 Oh. So that well, one was a fail coffee. as well. Keep us supplied with coffees. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and this was martinis. It was to do with colour and paint, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, and it looked like. There was something weird going on in their eyes. It looked like they'd been dodged oh, to sort of create a bit more light in them where they would necessarily, it wasn't necessarily originally much light in them. Yeah. And dodging eyes, I think, is another point that you have to be really careful with because you can kind of spot it, especially if you've gone out of the eyes and down onto the lower eyelids. It's because when you dodge the eyes, it takes out a bit of the contrast in the lower eyelids. It, that stands out. So. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong, thing wrong with, you know, like a little bit just to enhance what's already there, but using it to create light that wasn't necessarily there doesn't really work in my opinion. It becomes really obvious. Yeah. And do dodging kids with really colourful eyes. Kids have such really vibrant, reflective eyes to start with. I don't see any need to dodge kids' eyes. Yeah. It just makes it more obvious when they've got a luminous green eyes or... <laughs> Electric blue eyes, and they're like, "Oh no, they were just like that." <laughs> <laughs> this one—it wasn't, wasn't sharp at all. I didn't think. Yeah, it was. That was noise, though. I think more than anything else, and it was a really—I yeah. cropped the file in a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. That one there, um, it's sharp on the guy, but there's movement in the girl. Yeah. Mm. Well. Yeah, that just comes back to that clarity thing, eh? This one here passed, but they didn't really like the pose. Mm. Yeah. Was that a wedding, Megan? No, um, that was a ball. Um, a oh, yeah. Photos of the girls before they went to the ball. 
And she wanted a photo of the back of her dress, which I quite and liked. And has bought that in 11 by 14. And slightly turning her right shoulder, like tipping her right shoulder forward, yeah. would have lessened the distance across her back, made her back look not as wide. Mm. Right. Okay. Cool. This one here is a pass. I think the comment was made though about pink hands. Yeah, I think from memory, um, the, in the print, her skin tone on her face was good, but her hands were a different colour. Yeah. Which is just another thing to watch. Cool. That's it. Cool. Thanks for that. Mm. I've got a failed um, a failed wedding. If anyone wants to see that, if I can get my um, get my screen share working. Failed wedding sounds terrible, oh. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. <laughs> I can really see why it failed now, but I thought you guys might all like to have a look at it. If um, Nicola and Karen are happy to. So I, I click on the screen share before, first, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then it should give you some options of screens to choose. I know, and that's what frustrates me. It's not in here, even though it's down the bottom on my computer. So you um, need to have the actual screen live first. Yeah. The don't want down the bottom. You need to be open on your computer. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's open. No, no, I just reduce it, so I can't reduce it down the bottom, can I? I say no, I want, want it to be open. Okay, sorry. And then I'll tr I'll try to get it a bit bigger later on. Yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. Yay! Okay, I'll just try to get it bigger now. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, I'll just get both pages open. So I'm sure the, the clients and the couple were really happy with this album. I've looked through this one before, and I think I'll just try to make it. Oh, sorry. It. Like they had a really beautiful day. Um, I'll just try to get it bigger for you, girls. One moment. Oh crap. Um, I'm not quite sure how to make it bigger. Okay, can you all see that? And um, we're fixing no. you at the moment. Oh, okay. Just gone off screen share. Damn it. Are you going over there, Vanessa? Sorry? How are you going? Good. I have kids around, so I, I, I cut the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to hear screaming cries. <laughs> Did you have any questions about anything, or are they all getting answered? Well, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. I am um, likely to have a, a novices membership because I'm moving overseas, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's for the printing that I'm worrying a bit more because. France to New Zealand for sending the print will be a bit hard, I guess. And you were talking about uh, outside uh, printing. If I make sense. <laughs> um, getting, someone, getting someone in New Zealand to print the photo for me, um, trying to control everything, that would be hard, would it be? Yeah, you'd probably want to yeah. see them after they're printed before you. Submitted, I would yeah. think. Yeah. But I have I have a question about the matting. Just while we're talking about that, because I mounted mine like I did my Iris Awards last year, so that we don't need to do that for cues. Um, they need to be mounted, but they don't have to be matted. Okay. Actually, they don't for Iris either. But yeah, so you can mount them on something foam core or board or something, and you can mat them if you want to. But you don't have to. So some people have um, printed them, um, like so that they printed them with a white border. Does that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it looks 
from a distance like it's got a mat around it, but it's all in one when you look closely. Cool. Yeah. A lot of the requirements for submission can be found on the New Zealand Institute of Professional Photography website, which is www.nz.org.nz. Um, you don't have to be a member to access a heap of information on there. So, um, yeah, there's under under membership, there's Q program and a whole lot of um, guidelines in the drop down menus. So you can also go and have a look there for yeah all those specifications before you submit. Um, do you want me just to put this as big as I can for you girls and boys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, can you all see that? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'll just scroll down and I'll just let Nicola and Karen just comment, I suppose. Okay. You can see these okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just let me know when you want me to change pages over. Okay. Um I guess um I might have expected to see a little bit more variety here. Um, if, it's, if it's a layout that's all about the details, I would normally expect to kind of see more detail. Or, um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. yep. Cool. Next page. The black and whites look quite flat. Yeah. Yeah. Muddy. That's big. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next page? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just comment as you feel because it'll it's, it's really great. It, really it just hasn't clicked over to the next page yet. Oh, I see it now, sorry. Um horizons. In an image that's otherwise quite image. carefully controlled, like you've carefully arranged her dress, arranged her. then have the horizon go straight through her neck. <laughs> yeah. It's such a, it's something that will always get pulled up on, eh? Because it's only a matter of crouching down a bit or changing your angle to... And it's a little bit more difficult yeah. than the one with the three, where you've got a super tall bridesmaid. Um, yeah. <laughs> She's a giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Also, I was wondering when it comes to actually designing the album. Obviously, I made the image on the left a bit too big, and um, do you think I should have actually just kept the left page to the right page, even with the amount um, I had there? Not necessarily. I'm a big fan of having a big hero mm -hmm. image and and really making a lot of one of the images and then using the others to sort of back that up. Um, that that's my style. So it's certainly not a requirement that the layouts match each other. Um, okay, okay. The other and thing maybe, with, sorry. I was going to say with the group photos that you've cut them off at the hands, the two images on the right. Yeah, yeah, cool. If okay. There was a little bit more, uh, if, if there was more to the image, a different crop might have been mm. a more appropriate choice. And okay. even though it looks, like, it looks like quite a foggy, overcast day, that, um, that they look a bit flat. Yeah, okay. I really have to work on that, eh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll also go to the next one. It's oh, also yeah. the, crop, the cropping at the bottom, the dress is really, yeah. really close. Mm. It is close, yeah. That is my stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't tell whether it's blowing on the bottom of the dress. I can't yeah, tell. no, it wasn't blowing. I know it wasn't blowing, but I literally didn't have anything else underneath the dress. I couldn't. I couldn't have. Yeah. That was as bad as the angle was. So yeah. Yeah. So have you got the next page up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any comments on that? Or that's not too bad? Or. That's no. That's, I like the detail of the piper. Um, okay, this is just a layout thing. I would tend to go um, like the way your layout is quite horizontal on the right hand side. I would tend to use a horizontal layout on the left. Having said that, they don't have to match. Mm. If you're going with multiple images on a page, there's something kind of flowing and cohesive about having 
similar shapes to those layouts. Does that make sense, given what I just yeah, said no, before? I'm, but yeah, like, I'm getting a bit of balance. It's fine to have one hero image and three small ones, but if you've got two that are multiple layouts, it's nice if they kind of have some similarity or symmetry. Or Yeah, okay. No, brilliant, thanks. Um, is the, I, I take it that probably wouldn't be a pass-fail issue, but it is commented on that it's just yeah. not a great design. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll go to the next page. <clears throat> and again, you've got very dissimilar layouts, which is perhaps not a wise choice. Again, it's not mission critical. But, um, Actually, I've just realised, I think I've got these on the wrong pages. I've got left to right going wrong. Hang on. Oh, um, yeah, no. I've, I've cocked that up, actually, I wonder. Ah. So um, that one on the... Hang on a second. I was wondering um, that from the start because your start image was on yeah, the Yeah, I have two. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, I'll just okay. I'll change the view on this. I don't know how I stuffed that one up. I'll just go yeah. two-page scrolling. No, two-page view. I wonder why I did that. I don't know if I can change it now. We might just have to imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that was... I'm really sorry, guys and girls. I've kind of mucked okay. that up a bit. Yeah, okay. See what I've done wrong here, can't you? Uh, so that one yeah. goes opposite. Oh, yeah, no. I've stuffed it out. I wonder why it's done, done this on this and then it's going. Mm. Okay, I don't know how to change that actually. Let's go back to right the very beginning and just. I'll take it back to the beginning and hopefully change it. Here we go, that's on the wrong side. Okay. I'll see if this works better. No. We might just have to imagine it. I, I think you're just going to have to imagine it. I'm sorry. Apologies uh, for that. Oh, okay, I just won't comment about design at all then. Mm -hmm. cool. You will just have to, yeah, you can see what I've done, can't oh, I you? See. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like that sequence. One of the things that we sometimes see with sequences is images that are too similar. If you're going to use a sequence, they need there needs to be a reason why you used a sequence, and I like what you've done with that. So that's oh, okay, yeah. cool, thanks. Okay, so yeah, keeping in mind that I've really cocked up the sequence here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And just let me know when you want to scroll over to the next page if there's nothing that you can't critique on or that you prefer to critique on. Okay, can we see the next one? Sure. Oops. Cool. Yeah. And next one? Yeah. Bearing in mind that the page on the right that you're looking at now should be on the left of the next page. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll do that. Cool. Really good to include group photos in your album. Sometimes it's tempting if you're making it as a sample to leave them out because they're not very creatively fulfilling. Um, it is really they're a really important part of what we do, so they do really need to be in the in your Q album. And would you suggest say four to six photos of family shots um, on yep. average? Yep. And the idea is just to show that you can take them competently. I mean, they're not. Um, creatively challenging, but sometimes they're very technically challenging um, if you're in low light and you need to get the depth of field and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it is very important to show them and to show that, do that you do them well. Okay, cool. Okay, I was across to the next page. Um, <laughs> you can really tell it's not in order, can't you? Now, is this too flat as well? Yeah, I think all of them. Could yeah, do with cool. a bit more, bit more editing. Um, but one of the other things that, like, I remember when we discussed this album, one of the things that was discussed was the while the clients uh, look relaxed and happy, the posing is quite static. I was just gonna. I was just thinking that before. It's kind of like the same pose. They're not doing anything, which I know it's a wedding and they're having their photos taken, but it's the same pose just in a different location. Yeah, there's not okay, a lot so of variety. There's not a lot of variety in what they're doing or interaction. But like Nicholas says, they look 
relaxed and happy. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And I'll just keep going yeah. on these. Okay. Um, and we really liked that one on the left. I remember we all went, yeah, we really like that one. <laughs> um, I like the ones on the right too. Yeah. With that fog. Mm. Yeah. I lightened the one up on the left, um, worked on that a lot more and put it into iris last year. Yeah. Um, and like got rid of the, the leaves at the top and um, lightened his face a bit, things like that. Um, and that helped an awful lot with the image, obviously, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I was going to just question you also about did I have too many night shots that were just too uneven in color tone or balance or um, I worked quite hard on it at the time and I thought they might have got, I got might have got away with it but maybe not. It's looking at what I can see here. It looks like they're suffering from the orange evening thing happening. The top left um, shots. Yeah. That yeah. Um, one of the other things I remember from this is that there's quite a few images that look like they were shot at sort of f5 and above and that there wasn't a lot of use of kind of shallow depth of field to direct the viewer um, and to kind of yeah, create yeah. a variety with focal lengths. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Oh, I've got some nice yummy lenses now though, so I can go down to 2.8. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all good. Yeah. Okay. Um, great, thank you. One on the left looks a wee bit dark too. Mm. Lightened up a bit, okay. Yeah. Great, so thank you. So the big thing I have to work on really is, um, yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. I'll close this off now. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Hope that helped the others as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. I actually have to be gone sort of twelve thirty, so we might have to sort of barrel through some last questions and Yeah. So what would everyone like to see next? I want, I want to see very quickly a um a good one, an approved cue that um we can just sort of flick through it fast if we're able to. Album did, today, sorry. Nick, can, Nick, did you have one to demonstrate with, or did you want to use um, mine? Yeah, let's use your one because the one I've got is a borderline not pass one. Okay. <laughs> I'm pleased you got another cat, Emily. Uh, I had two. This uh, is the this is the little one. I've got a 16-year-old dog lying beside me that is, he's just gone out for a pee, but he, we're going to have to put him down in the next two weeks. Oh. Yeah. So my husband's in tears for the first time I've ever seen him in my life. <laughs> yeah. It's awful, awful. So guilty. I don't know. Oh, I'll ask right. another question while we, while everyone's getting it ready, getting the next thing ready. Um, and this is probably a bit of a delicate question, so I don't, you know. <laughs> um, I've, I've met a few ones with the Q. Oh, one moment. I'm just about to go to sleep here. Here we just, go. Just, just click that and I'll wake it up again. Okay. Um, and they got their Q years and years ago, and it's a bit of a smugness, and it's quite a struggle sometimes for us to let them know how much harder it is now to get a queue without, um, and they all, you know, they almost, oh, what if our dog was that young? <laughs> He's not that young, is he? Oh, okay. This is moose dog. <laughs> the other thing, the thing for the moment though is, though, you have to re, you have to resubmit your queues every yeah. four years. Yeah, every four years. So, um, 
well, they three, won't be so well, there's three years left now. Um, yeah, in three years' time, we're all going to have to resubmit. So. Yeah. But I thought that if you managed to keep your points going with Iris, you'd be you wouldn't have to resubmit. Is that correct for the uh, ones that's you've got? True. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you are active and you're submitting for Iris and you're gaining professional standards in Iris, then then you'll be fine. Right. Yeah. Okay. And if you're doing that, then you should realise what the standard is. Yeah. If you're not yeah. entering anything. Then you then you might lose touch with how hard this, what the standard is, but yeah, if you're entering Iris, then you know. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So should we click on to Emily's now? Is that correct? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just I'll just zoom through this. It doesn't need to take up too much time. So this is this is one of my wedding albums that I submitted. Um, so you, you <coughs> excuse me, you submit two layouts and one of them has to be printed. Um, this was, I think, my digital. But I have got it printed as well, which I can, I've got it beside me, which I can show you. I didn't get too much comments back. Um, I did get that the skin tones were really consistent. The skin tones and the editing were quite consistent throughout. I think, I, I mean, I get, you're all looking at the same thing, so you can see it too, but there's lovely yeah. connections between people that you're obviously watching for and capturing. Um, yeah. And, and an eye for kind of the design elements of it, of course. <laughs> I forgot about that kid. How cute is he, the one winking at me? <laughs> 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 they, all the kids had this colour scheme going on. They all had the reds and the blues. Gosh, it was cute. <laughs> These two are, are um, scientists from Texas, wow. and they were. The, I was making all these um, science jokes about elements and stuff. It was really fun. <laughs> 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 and um, her cake here, just as an interesting note. So that pattern that you see on the cake, it's actually the um, the spores of the algae that she's that she's studying and they've made nice. a design for the cake. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. I would have thought of that as I was eating it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wouldn't have stopped I, me eating it. Yeah. <laughs> I never get to eat the cake. But. Nah, neither. I don't know what it is. Like, I literally, ne I, I pretty much had um, cake at maybe two, two weddings. Just never I get to the cake. I always had trouble accepting food when I was doing weddings. If they bought it round and they accepted it, I always feel like, oh, I'm not a guest, but I'm starving and it looks so good. And oh, I'll accept it if there's any clients watching. Yeah. I'll accept the food. Yeah. Man, I, I, I'm pretty I'm sure that... I'll, I'll accept cake. Yeah. <laughs> I, have cake I have cake in my contract. <laughs> I need to add cake. Why are, we, why are we doing weddings if not having cake? Yeah, yeah, but it's the greasy stuff. I don't want to eat anything greasy, then it's all over the camera, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just, um, I, this is the actual album that, um, because the print, you know, the print is so important, that's the actual uh, album. So is that a, a flush mount Queensbury, Emily? It's not Queensbury, no, it's from a, mm. a place in America. Which one? I <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I get mine from America too, so I was just asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because normally you've got to avoid that, putting anything in the middle. 
Yes. yes. Quite yeah. Nice that you're doing. yeah. Yeah. Hey, There's actually a company want... in Australia called Seldex that has just started doing a album very similar to this one, and I'm considering probably changing to them. I'm just going to get some no. samples soon. Emily, the company I used to work for in Australia use Seldex all the time, and they're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I used to get some products from them, but then I just I found the the particular album that I wanted they weren't making, and it was actually I get free shipping from America, so it was actually cheaper to get it made in America, and they can get it to me in three days. Wow. To Queenstown from upload, um, but wow. Seldex. But I'm getting stung with um, income tax at the moment. They're pulling up almost every album and charging me $150 income tax. So I'm thinking about changing because that's Ooh. a pain. I hate it. I've got a yeah. Emily? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Could I ask one question about your album? I'd like to ask Nicola and Karen about it as well. On one of the pages at the very beginning, you've got a black and white of the groom, and I think it might be when the groom is um, seeing her bride come in, and it's of a more of a wider angle lens that, you, that you've used on that image, and then it's gone to another lens. I'm wondering, is that the kind of thing that could almost be as a disadvantage? They're saying, oh, look, it's a little bit too uneven. You've got um, a different focal length here, and then you've got a different one that you pull back on. I'm a bit concerned about that. Obviously, it passed on yours, but I would have been too nervous to do that. Um, no, I would say more likely to count in your favour. Because mm, it says okay. on that marking, it says on that marking sheet showing a different a range of focal length that's appropriate for mm. the situation. So I guess that would show that you've seen what the appropriate one is to use. I, yeah, I mean, obviously, without seeing an example, like I wouldn't use a fisheye to make a bridal portrait. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's cool. I was just a bit concerned thinking, oh, my goodness, I would have been too nervous to do that. Mm. Cool. Um, any other points that you want people to know, Nick and Karen? Um, I'm going to check the group, see if there's any other questions. The thing I always kind of come back to is that question about control. Is Could this have been controlled better? If so, then it should have been. So is does this album or does this collection of portraits demonstrate a professional level of control over the image? So it's more than just did you happen upon something or, you know, that sometimes, um, and we haven't said it today and nobody's said but that really mean critique of a, an image uh, looks quite snapshotty. Mm. Um, often it, what the person's really saying is it does. it's hard to see what the photographer brought to this image. So demonstrating the professional level of control means bringing all of your skills and talents to bear on that particular image in a way that does show off that professional control. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that's asked at the end is would we recommend this person yes. to photograph our sister's wedding or our sister's family or brother or, yeah, would we recommend them? Yeah, that's a big, big question that you guys ask yourselves for this, isn't it? Yeah, and if there's several issues that we could see, then obviously we would, it's not something we would recommend to our nearest and dearest. Scary. <laughs> awesome. I think we're done. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's been great. Awesome, thank you. So the next um, Q submission date is the 3rd of September and then there's another one on the 5th of November. So there's heaps of time if you want to start getting albums and prints ready. Yeah. If you've got any questions, you can certainly email me. I'm not the fastest at answering, getting through my piles of emails. I'm going to admit that now, but I will get there. And the other place is the Q Tryhards group, if it's not. A very kind of personal question. It's good to put it in there because then lots of other people who might also have the same yeah. question can can read the answer. Yeah. And yeah. um, we've got a note from Tony asking Nicola if your Canon shirt 
is <laughs> honestly everything else was in the wash. <laughs> I did give her the look when I walked in the door. Oh, I was a free t shirt. What am I yeah. going to do? Come on. <laughs> If Nikon would like to send us two t-shirts, we will hand back the Canon t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to wear them non-stop. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so, so much um, for sharing what you know and everyone who shared images as well. Yeah. That was very brave of you all. And I think that um, heaps of people will get a lot from that. So thank you. Um, we'll be buying you guys drinks at conference. <laughs> Just one <laughs> thing. Oh, coffees, coffees this No, you can all buy me as many as you like before I go up and talk because oh, I'm going to be pretty nervous. I will need lots of drinks before and after. Yeah. How long is your talk for, Karen? Pardon? How long is your talk for? An hour. Oh. What, what day is it on, Karen? <laughs> that was reassuring. <laughs> what day is it on for? Oh, sorry. Sunday. In the afternoon or the morning? Afternoon. Oh, good, 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 good. Have you broken it broken it down into say quarters so you've got a certain amount of time to cover each point? That helps a little bit with your nerves. You know, no, I'm just in denial. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you a good public speaker? Or uh, I'm I'm all right once I get going, but I'm very nervous for sort of the first ten minutes. Yeah. But I have this, yeah, hand me a microphone for some reason. I just have this desire to start rapping. I've got <laughs> no, no ability to rap. So I'm just worried that I'm going to get on stage. Someone's going to give me a microphone. I'm going to bust into some kind of rap. Have you, awesome. have you, have you considered doing it on your iPhone and just hiding your mouth um, <laughs> and then just playing it back on there? It just go. That is my weekend's project this weekend. Thank you very much. Seriously, just, just record it on there and then just. I'm go. hoping that I lose my voice like Nicola did last year, so then Nicola will have to come up and read oh, yeah. what I've got written. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you did for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. All right once I. I'll be fine once I get going, but yeah. Yeah. Preparation is the key. Can you see my rainbow? Hang on. Uh... Oh, get that crap out of the way. I can see it. Look at nice. that rainbow. Oh, look at that. We've got blue sky, Jim. I don't have any blue sky here. Emily lives on the other side of that mountain. <laughs> and there is That's no blue skies and rainbows. Now I've got um, very weak feet here in Munton at the moment. Very yeah. severe. Yeah. Oh, it's a full we rainbow. Have, Beautiful. We don't, don't have much of anything in Hamilton. Oh, you've got, got some cool stuff going on. No, weather-wise, we're just grey, grey, grey. Gotta get a photo of a rainbow. <laughs> but Instagram that shit. Boom! Oh, it looks like lots of people watching. Oh, yeah. Everyone is watching. <laughs> Jim Pollard goes to click for your wedding photography. <laughs> <laughs> you also shaved halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whilst having a cup of tea. Okay. Cool. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much, guys. Good on you. Thanks. Bye, thank you very much for your time, everyone. Okay. Really appreciate your time, guys. Thanks, Emily, welcome. for organising. Thanks, Nicola. Thanks. Karen. Good. Good. See ya. Bye. Take us out with a wrap, Karen. What's that? Take us out with a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I'll post something on Women's Photography Forum. Um, it's a wrap that a bridesmaid did as a post. Have you seen it? <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs>